It's Good News with Gary, featuring University of Akron President Gary L. Miller. Hi, everyone. Here's some good news from the University of Akron. Those of us who are part of the UA community are well aware that the university adds a lot of value to our region. Now that we have the results of an economic impact study that looked at fiscal year 2021, we're able to quantify just how much a difference we make in our service area. The University of Akron added $3 billion to the economy in the six-county region of Northeast Ohio thanks to our students, alumni, faculty, staff, researchers, and more. UA's research spending generated $17.3 million in income, and UA startup companies generated $10.4 million. The study also found that UA supports one out of every 48 jobs in the region. More data and other information are available at uacron.edu impact. The economic impact study was conducted by Lightcast, which is a global leader in labor market analytics. Lightcast looked at data from across the state for a complete look at the public higher education system and focused on statistics from our service area to determine UA's impact on Northeast Ohio. The study included data from Cuyahoga, Medina, Portage, Stark, Summit, and Wayne counties, which is determined to be the area of direct impact. As I shared recently in our announcement of the study's findings, UA is dedicated to educating students and finding ways to connect them with employers to continue to grow career earnings. We are committed to serving as an economic generator by supporting workforce development and supporting innovation and entrepreneurship. The overall numbers for the state were also impressive. The study found that the total economic impact of Ohio public universities was nearly $70 billion, which represents 8.8% of the total gross state product. We're very proud to be part of that number in our role as a public urban research university. I'm really excited to share that the most recent issue of the University of Akron magazine is now out. The issue focuses on student engagement and highlights just a few of the ways in which students get involved both on the UA campus and in the greater Akron area. There are stories about our award-winning residence hall program board, the Ohio's Pride Marching Band, civic engagement and volunteerism, esports, and much more. Paging through the magazine, it's easy to understand why UA students are involved in such a wide variety of activities. They understand that the more engaged they are in the world around them, the stronger we are as a university and a wider community. All of the magazine stories are now on the UA website and on our social media channels. Please take a moment to read about our highly engaged student body and share those stories with other people in your network. Finally, congratulations to UA's RoundNet club team for winning the recent college national championship. RoundNet, which is also known as Spikeball, has been around since the 1980s, but started to gain popularity in 2015 when the game was featured in an episode of the TV show Shark Tank. The game involves two teams of four participants spiking a small yellow ball off a net set in the center. If you do a search of round net on YouTube, any number of videos will show you an example of how the game is played. During warm days, you can often see the team practicing on Coleman Common, and it's clear the Zips' hard work has paid off. UA has been very competitive for the past few years, including a number one ranking in 2023. The national championship is a wonderful achievement for the club. During the tournament, our 10-member co-ed squad had eight wins and no losses, and they beat some much larger schools, including a semifinal victory over Ohio State, always nice to see, and a win in the finals against the University of Texas at Austin. The UA Magazine has a nice story on the round net team, so that's another reason to pick up a copy or check out the website. Well, that's some recent good news from the University of Akron. Please join me soon for another Good News with Gary podcast. And go Zips!